My name is pretty long. It's Miguel Angelo Falcão de Oliveira. I come from uh, from Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, it's where I was uh, was born. Been into motorbikes pretty much my whole life since uh, since the day I I was born until today. Uh, been always surrounded by by engines. When I started, my, my father gave me a, a bike for Christmas when I was uh, nine years old. Uh, and in this moment, he, he told me that uh, I would only ride the bike if I get good results at school. So we start this, uh, this pact in between us. So I would bring the good results from school and he would allow me to ride the bike on the weekends. Uh, if I was uh, well behaved at school and, and all these kinds of things. O obviously the studies give you uh, some comfort zone. If you, if you don't really make it where you want, you, you always have something to, to grab onto. But I think everything you do in life, you need to do it with passion. Um, if you are lucky, you can, do your, you can call uh, your work your passion. I'm lucky to to be in that position. Obviously it feels good because finally when you arrive you, you relax a little bit. But that relaxing moment uh, turns into, uh, turns into a competitive mode immediately because you want to be uh, up in the front and uh, you want to be as fast as you, as you can. Uh, so obviously, uh, so as soon as you arrive, you, you have another goal, you know. And uh, this is for me uh, ev every day something new. Uh, I want to reach higher positions, new goals. I want to be more in front. And now for me, that's the point. It's to, uh, to arrive more in front and to be faster on, on this bike, which for me, it's, it's new. Yeah, physically, physically you need to adapt your body. Uh, obviously, you suffer a bit more on the bike, uh, so you need to be a bit more strong. Nothing crazy compared to Moto2 bike, but you need a little bit more to be to be able to to handle the bike through race distance. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, the 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 usual training. Now I'm trying to understand more how I can uh, train uh, on the bike uh, before I go testing. Uh, so do a bit of dirt track, riding on the karting track with a small bike to keep myself uh, the, the, the racing position and the, this muscle um, groups more active. Yeah, for me it's, uh, it's fantastic because you can compare yourself with more riders and actually have the more feedback and give feedback to the, to the mechanics to improve the bike. So at, at my current position as a rookie, it's just nice to have riders which have been there uh, for a year or two and to help me understand how I, how I can ride better the bike. You know, for me, it's still a bit strange to look at the fairing and see a 88 because it's not familiar for me. I've been racing since I was 10 years old with the 44. Uh, you know, accidentally with the 44 because I was racing before with the 41, uh, but we didn't have number ones left on the <laughs> on the on the on the garage, so we put another four. So that's how the 44 was born. But I've been using it for my whole career and now finally changing to the 88 is something for me that made sense because it's a pair number. Uh, it repeats itself, so it's not so strange anymore. And it's the double. And when you go into MotoGP, I think it's, uh, it's also double uh, everything, the power, the, the responsibility, everything. So I, I thought it made sense to use this, uh, this number.